Hi, Scott Williford, CEO and founder of VLink Solutions. Today we're continuing our conversation with Brian Weiss of Support Marketing Group. Hopefully you saw the first episode with Brian. So Brian, we ended our last episode talking about social media and just getting into the topic of, of how social media plays into today's marketing efforts and into today's prospecting and selling efforts. So how does an inside sales or a sales group use social media does it play into your game and and how do we how do we tie the two together facebook linkedin and salespeople yeah and it's it's a i mean that's a pretty robust question it can go on for a long time as far as the development of it um for us specifically as an outsourced development arm prospecting arm for a client we're a professional calling service we want to set up appointments that are relationship based uh, we use social media to gain information about the people we're going to be calling into um, if we can get a leg up on some event that happened at their workplace, something individually that happened to the point of contact that we're trying to reach out to, then we can appear to um, have more reason, a better reason for the call maybe. One of the biggest challenges we face as a prospecting organization is people trying to justify the use of time engaging with us. Right. So if we can do something to capture, at least validate for them that an extra 10 or 30 seconds makes sense, then we can start our process. And so a lot of times you can go to LinkedIn, you can learn who they're connected with, you can learn pieces of information, you can watch the types of information they post on Facebook, which are clearly important to them. You can reference that information to break down the walls a little bit between you and I and allow us to converse a little more freely. So we've had success using social media in that format. Um, Support Marketing Group wants to become your business development partner. We manage email campaigns. We do things that above and beyond just simply making phone calls. We're not to the point where we're prepared to manage a social media page, and mm -hmm. that would be the biggest thing that I would question for a small business or a medium-sized business, right. who's going to manage right. the content? Because if you're going to create that world and you're going to create an audience, then you want the message to be consistent. You want to make sure you're taking advantage of it. You're, you're, you're effectively you know, utilizing that technology. Right. If you're not in a position to do that with regularly updating content and capturing your audience, then don't start. You know, wait until you're in a position so, to do that. So when, when people are building, like I've got a pretty large network of LinkedIn followers mm -hmm. and LinkedIn contacts personally. And uh, when I work with my sales team and working with our organization, you know, do I need to give them access to that? And I guess your clients give you access to their LinkedIn connections, or are you just using LinkedIn as a way to do sort, search and, and filtering and trying to get that top level uh, bit of information that you can get? Yeah, it's more the latter. Okay. Um, I, I certainly don't give the group that I have, my team, our team, access to my LinkedIn network. Right. But you can go on LinkedIn and you can, you can just learn about a point of contact's past. Right. What kind of education, what right. kind of work The experience. public information. Yeah, what kind of hobbies, interests. Right. Something that might give you an advantage. If you have any kind of similar interest, obviously in a sales environment, establishing common ground is, is pivotal early on. Um, again, you're, you're just simply trying to validate for the consumer, for the point of contact, for the prospect, that it makes sense to invest 30 seconds with you, to right. invest a minute with right. you. So, so in our first episode, we talked about the importance of process. And now we've been talking about LinkedIn and how you know, that's a tool or social media is a tool to help manage uh, getting more information about a prospect. But obviously, the key thing or one of the key steps is creating the list to work from. So LinkedIn is a tool that you use, but you know, how does a company go about getting the right list, building a list? I mean, do, do they just go to the phone book or you know, what do they do? Yeah, that's a great question. Because early on, when I first started this business, I just assumed, because I'd been a part of many sales organizations, that I would go talk to someone's sales group, they mm -hmm. would know who they're targeting, they would produce this list for me, and I would just, we would just go execute our drip marketing process custom to their solution. Right. Well, the reality is one of the most popular questions I get is, can you improve our lead list? How do we know who to go call? Right, Why list. are we calling them? So we have a, a, there's a lengthy discovery section that we share a couple hours talking about their service, um, learning more about who the perfect client is for them. And I actually have a contact that profiles businesses. They okay. can take a lot of criteria based on your existing clients or based on your dream client and they can put those criteria into a funnel and it spits out all the leads in a geographical region, state, southeast, country, that fit that, you know, that, fit that mold. Right. And right. we can actually buy leads very cost effectively from them. Um, and, and the challenge is you know, people and businesses change all the time. So it's really hard to get a, 
a lead list that has a lot of accurate information. Right. And so I'm blessed in that these guys, their, acu their, ac their information has been very accurate and it's been easy for us to implement our process for a client with their help. Right. It's, it's clear to me that we've got to have another session with Brian. Uh, you've got a lot of information. I want to come back and talk about some of the strategic partnerships that you've formed in the companies that you're working with and how they, they work together. Because I think another company, uh, an another business out there that's watching this could learn something from that. So we'll be back uh, with Brian Weiss in our next episode. And I want to thank you for tuning in. Scott Williford, V-Link Solutions. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon.